Well, Toledo may have been part of the Rust Belt at one time, and we all know it's the Glass City. Blend the two you have of rust and glass and plenty of talent. Curtis Dieter is the editor in chief of Rust and Glass, a new literature and arts magazine in Toledo. Good morning. Thanks for being here Good today. Morning. Thanks for having me. I'm very grateful. Well, and when we say magazine, we mean online. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, so we are actually launching our first issue of it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to launch on our website of rustandglass.com. It's going to launch on some of our Facebook pages and some of our other social medias. Um, you know, it's a free magazine. Mm -hmm. It'll be downloadable as, you know, different formats. Okay. Um, pretty much as available as I can possibly make it for, for everyone. And what is in the magazine? So the magazine is a collection of poetry, short stories. We've got um, some incredible artwork in there, a couple pieces, a watercolor, a photograph, you know, a, a photograph. Mm -hmm. Um, just anything made by local uh, Northwest Ohio individuals or people with roots in, in the Northwest Ohio area. What made you say this is something that I want to take on? Well, I, I'm an author. Um, you know, I've been writing for a long time and I know the creative process, especially with our nine to fives, especially with our families and things like mm -hmm. that. It can be sort of challenging. It can be, you know, sort of a lonely adventure. Um, it, it can be difficult to get your name out there. And I really want a platform for Northwest Ohio creatives to get their name out there, mm -hmm. to, to showcase their work, and to show just the incredible talent in the area. So this is kind of a big undertaking for you, right? Because you're kind of doing this uh, on your own mm -hmm. right now and hoping to, to build it up and make it bigger and better. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I had this idea actually probably about five years ago, and it was one of those really big grand ideas that we have <laughs> that never really go anywhere. Uh, but mid last year, I decided that I was actually going to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been sort of a struggle. We've got a nine month old at home. Mm, um, <laughs> I work I work downtown here, uh, you know, eight to 430 every day. So it's sort of it's a project of passion mm -hmm. that I'm putting in in my free time. Mm -hmm. um, hoping to bring more people on board to help me out so we can really make this, you know, the right way and, you know, make it really big in the area and, and really just continue it um, on moving forward. And in order to do that, of course, you need folks to submit to their artwork or mm -hmm. how can people do that? How can yeah, they get involved? so if you have any sort of pieces of writing, any artwork, any photography that you'd like to be showcased in this mm -hmm. magazine, um, submit it to, we've got a, an email address that's coordinator at ofrustandglass.com. Mm -hmm. um, that goes directly to my inbox. Uh, I, you know, I've, I've been reviewing and, and accepting and, and all that stuff, all this mm -hmm. work that I've been getting in. Um, we've already got quite a bit for issue number two, mm -hmm. but beyond that, we would love to see what you have. Yeah, and do you put some of your own stuff in there? I don't, no, not yet. <laughs> I, not I, yet. I, I might eventually, but this is, it's, it's not really about me, it's yeah. about, you know, the other people in the in the area. So. As you've been collecting these submissions that are coming in, have you been surprised or what, what have you been finding? I wouldn't say surprised. I, I knew there's a lot of really great talent. Um, I would say humbled. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of like the cover of the magazine, for instance, by uh, Jennifer Souders out of um, Fostoria. It's a beautiful watercolor mm -hmm. and really just being somebody who nobody really knows that well, yeah. that people are willing to put their work in my hands is, is, is really <laughs> humbling. And as you said, you're not really surprised, though, that this talent is out there right here. Not at all. I think, I think we all knew the Toledo art scene was really great. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to provide another opportunity to, to, to show the world that. And people, you know, you may not be artistic, but you want to look at uh, some really great work or read some really great writing and yeah. poetry. So this is a good opportunity really for everybody in the area. Yeah, so absolutely. launches tomorrow, you said? Yep. And what's the site again? The site is of rustandglass.com. That's nice easy, easy enough, yeah. right? Write oh, yeah. that down. <laughs> and then if you've got some work that you'd like to showcase, uh, what was the email address again? It's uh, coordinator at rustandglass.com. Very good. Well, good luck with your new venture. Thank and you so uh, much. we'll be watching. Thank Thanks you so, for so coming much. in today.